In this video, I'm going to show you how to get a Key Vault secret via the REST API with Postman. You can find the full details of this video at aka.ms slash rest. The two Azure resources you need to be concerned about are the Key Vault and the Service Principle. The Key Vault REST API authorizes the Service Principle via the Bear token in the authorization header, which is generated by a call to the OAuth2 token URI. We're now going to set up all the Azure resources we need to make this happen. The first thing you're going to want to do is either open an Azure Cloud Shell from the Azure Portal or install the Azure CLI. The script we'll use will eventually generate all the variables we'll need to execute the REST API in Postman. So the first thing I'm going to do is copy all of these values into Notepad. You're going to want to copy and paste your own subscription ID here and potentially change the service principal name, password, in the other settings. Just make sure you keep the resource at https vault.azure.net. I've updated my settings, now I'm going to copy and paste to the Azure Cloud Shell. My variables are now set up. Since we're using the Cloud Shell, we're not going to need to log in. But we are going to need to set the active subscription. You only need to do this if you have more than one subscription. We're then going to set our tenant ID variable, which we'll use later. We're then going to create a service principle. Now we're going to get the service principal app ID into a variable. Now we're going to create the resource group to put the key vault in. Now we're going to create the key vault. Now we're going to set the key vault URI variable, which will be used later. Now we're going to create a secret. Now we're going to give the security principal access to the key vault. You do that with the secret permissions get command. And make sure you notice here that you need to put HTTP colon slash slash in front of the service principal name. Now we're going to execute this script, which will output the variables in the format that Postman needs. And we're going to copy these variables to Notepad. We're now going to open up Postman and execute our REST API request. The first thing we're going to do in Postman is create an environment called Azure Key Vault. And then we're going to add the variables that were outputted from our last Cloud Shell command. So in Postman, I'm going to right click over here on the gears. I'm going to select Manage Environments and I'm going to click Add. I'm going to give it a name of Azure Key Vault. I'm going to click Bulk Edit. Then I'm going to go to Notepad and copy and paste my variables. I'm going to click Add and then I'm going to close this form. Up here in this drop down, I'm going to make sure I select Azure Key Vault. I'm then going to create a new collection called Azure Key Vault. In that collection, I'm going to add a pre-request script that will get the bearer token based on the environment variables that I just set. So I'm going to copy this code, switch over to Postman, and create a new collection. Call it Azure Key Vault. And in the pre-request scripts, I'm going to paste that code. So this is going to make the post request to the OAuth2 token URI. Retrieve the bearer token and put it in a Postman variable, which we'll use in subsequent requests. Click Create. Now my collection is created. Now we're going to create a new request called Get Secret with the following settings. We're going to use the Vault URI variable as our base URI. Now we're going to copy Secret, Secret Name, and API version for the rest of the URI. And then we're going to copy these two headers, one for authorization, which will be equal to the bearer token that was generated through the pre-request script and content type application JSON. Back in the Postman, we're going to click headers and then we're going to click bulk edit. We're going to copy those two headers in. Now when we click key value edit, we'll be able to see those headers. Now we're going to save this request to our collection. Now we're going to click send. And as you can see, the secret is returned. So this video shows you the mechanics on how to get the secret using the REST API. Now it's up to you to integrate this REST API into your application. You can find all of these step-by-step -step instructions at aka.ms slash keyvaultrest.